Hey guys, it's Katherine, and today I'm going to show you how to create a glitter outline utilizing the brand new text feature in Procreate version 4.3. It's super, super simple, and it's super fun, and you can create so many cool text digital planner stickers with it, similar to what you see here. So to get started, I am going to create a new canvas, and I'm just using a screen size canvas. And now I need to add text. So to add text, I'm gonna to go to my wrench tool. I'm gonna to go to add, and then I'm gonna to go to add text. So let's type the word glitter. So we are gonna type our word right now. And actually I wanna do this in all caps. So I'm gonna hit caps lock and then type my word. So there's our word. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch out this text box so I'll have plenty of room when I am selecting my font and my text size. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna click on Edit Style. And I actually wanna use the same font that I used in the example that I just showed you, and that font is called One Wish Print. So here it is, it's by KA Designs. I love her stuff, and I will link to this in the video description. So now I'm just gonna increase the size as big as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna adjust the kerning in between the two T's, so I've got a little more room in between those. I don't want those to overlap. Okay, so that looks good. So now that I've done that, I am going to double tap to select my text, and now I'm gonna come over here under Attributes and select the O for Outline. So now I've got an outline of my lettering. So it looks like I need to adjust the kerning just a little bit more in between those two T's. So I'm gonna click back between those letters and then just adjust the kerning just a little bit more. And there we go. Now we're good to go. So now that that's done, I need to go to my layers panel. So I'm just gonna click up here and on my text layer, I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on rasterize. And now it's no longer recognized as text. It's recognized as an image. So that is what you need to do in order to do this next step. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pull in this gold glitter texture that I believe I found on Google. I've had it on my iPad forever. So you can do this with any texture. It doesn't just have to be glitter, but if you have other glitter textures, you can use those. You can use gold foil textures, whatever you wanna use. So I'm just gonna pull this in from my camera roll and there's my gold glitter texture. So it's pretty small since I found it on Google, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna stretch it out so it covers my letters. And you wanna make sure everything is covered. And now I'm gonna go to my layers and you'll see that that texture is on top of our word, which is exactly what we want. So now we're just gonna click on our gold glitter and we're gonna click on Clipping Mask. And now you've got your gold glitter outline. So now, in order to fill these letters in, we need to merge these layers before we fill those letters in, and I'm gonna show you why. Um, if you wanted to fill these in rainbow, like I showed you in my example, if you go to fill these letters in before you merge your Clipping Mask, it's gonna cover your colors in the glitter texture, which that looks good too but that's not what we wanna do for this video. So to merge these together, I'm just gonna pinch these two layers together and now they're merged. So now we can fill these letters with color. So if you're familiar with my videos, you know I'm obsessed with the color pink. So I'm just gonna select a light pink to fill this in with. So I'm gonna select this very, very light shade of pink and while I'm still on this layer that has my text, it's got my glitter outline, I'm gonna drag and drop this dot in the white areas. And now it's just filling in the white space. And that's all you have to do. It is so simple. You can do it with any font and just have so much fun with it. I would love to see what kind of stickers you make with this. So make sure you share it in my Facebook group. My Facebook group is called Naptime Alternative and I will link to it in the video description. I love seeing what you guys create after you follow my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos. Make sure you check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now. 
And if you're interested in joining my brand new digital planner club, make sure you check out my Patreon page. The link is down below in the video description. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.